Hey everyone, it is Larry here at LC Model Shipbuilding. So I just finished up filming uh, what will be video number 12 and it really wasn't planned out to be what it turned into. It, I think it actually turned out to be my very favorite um, part of this build so far. Uh, it was a whole lot of, um, or it is, not was, but it is a whole lot of uh, custom, uh, custom making of parts. So we're gonna build the uh, second class library. Uh, we use Woody's um, Woody's kit to do the walls on the outside and then we go in and do the interior and then we're going to do the uh, D-deck uh, D-deck reception area for Grand Staircase so um, that is completely scratch built and uh, it, it turned out pretty good so hope you enjoy it and uh, let's get started. Okay so this is the second class library entrance this would be the gangway, and I'm just going to use this to kind of show what we're going to try to achieve. I do have the woodies set for the um, the walls along here. Um, I'll end up uh, showing that as we go here. The benches, um, they're all included in the kit. The railing, the window frames, all that good stuff. Uh, the doors are all there. This I'm going to end up having to use a kit part for. And then when you come here you can kind of see through to the second class um, staircase so obviously there's our tile uh, we got some furniture along here um, and then there's a piano over here as well so i want to try to achieve as much of that as possible in here there's a lot going on a lot of furniture you got walls that are two-tone they're dark on bottom and tan, um, like a tan not tan, but they're wood, obviously, um, but we're going to paint them tan. And uh, green furniture. Then you got this big old bookcase up in here. Um, we'll do what we can to kind of replicate that. So I did 3D print some furniture, and uh, that's what we're going to use. So here we go. Okay, so I was debating on whether to put the decks down and put a wall up here for the second class library and entryway into the staircase. Um, I was going to scratch build it and then I got to looking at my woody stuff and holy Christmas it was a beautiful day when I came upon the second class library entry walls. So I can do all of that now and I'm pretty excited about that. So we're going to get started, and that's what this video is going to be about before we do more detailing on the deck, because I want to get this entryway done because it is noticeable, and you will be able to see right through it. So now is the time to do it. Um, and aside from uh, the underhaul plating, this is the first that I've done anything with Woody's stuff yet, so I'm kind of excited. Um, the detail on these is absolutely fantastic. Um, I, I'm kind of still in amazement because when I pictured doing this, I went to look at Honor and Glory and took some pictures, sent a picture or two to um, to uh, a couple of my friends that uh, I talked Titanic with quite a bit, um, Mark and uh, Robbie, um, model boat guy, and uh, wanted their opinion on whether to do this. Of course, um, you know, I'm getting the suggestion, absolutely go for it, yada, yada, yada. But I thought, my God, that's gonna be a lot of work. Well, now, it still will be a lot of work, but it's going to be at least work that isn't fabricated work. So I'm happy about that. And it has the ceiling for it already pre-made. So, and all the benches. So there's benches along here. If you go on to, um, if you go on to uh, Honor and Glory, you will see the, um, the layout that it is and uh yeah maybe i'll even post a picture in there of theirs or in here of theirs and then we can compare what we got when it's done 
So this is uh, sheet G for anybody that's interested. And I will put a link at the bottom down here. All right, so it even has our windows. So that is just a beautiful thing. Um, now, real quick, I want to go get my uh, my copy of uh, the floor plan, just so I make sure I'm bending my walls correctly. I have a general idea how they're going, but uh, last thing I want to do is screw up my uh, my walls on here. Um, another note. I've been using a off-white for the external superstructure. Um, for this, I am going to use a pure white. Uh, just noting that because I want to, I want to differentiate the interior spaces from the um, from the uh, hall and superstructure. So I will just use a standard bright white or flat white, whatever you want to call it, and. Uh, and yeah, we'll go with that. So, these are our walls. Let me go get my, um, my, uh, what do you call it, my book, and I'll be right back. Okay, so here we go. This is, um, uh, Titanic Ship Magnificent Volume 2, which focuses on interior design. Um, ton of information in this book as well. Um, I bought both of them. Highly recommend it. I've used them both already, uh, quite a bit. So, um, money worthwhile. Cool thing is, this is very close to being um, a scale drawing, excuse me, scale drawing of the, uh, of the library. Well, the floor plan it is, anyway. So, what you'll see here is the second class entryway is right here and then the library is right here so that's going to um, well I have it pulled back a little bit but that's okay that's going to uh, basically enable us to um, copy this pretty well so I love it all right so right now it's just about bending the parts um for bends this easy i don't really need a bender and they're pre-bent which is also fantastic um the windows uh they do come with window frames but i am i will put acetate on the back of them as well as acetate on the um on the superstructure sides uh because they were a sliding window that went on there and uh I think it says that yeah vertical sliding windows right here sorry i know you're reading it upside down if you are following along i'm just still very excited um because i did not know i had these uh, so it kind of made my day all right so we got our walls um next up we're going to need a few things to look at i hate to use the book as a work area but uh kind of kind of defaulting to it right now um, they will sit right about there and you can't see it from this angle I'm sure but the uh, the roof line is dead on um, to where it needs to be so that's awesome love it it's a hair short but I'm gonna put a little piece of decking there actually so not a big deal um, so what I'm going to use for that, anybody that buys scale decks is very well aware that there is always side pieces left over. Um, so we're going to cut a piece and basically that will be our decking for this area. But this one's a little short, it looks like. So I need to find a little bit longer of a piece. Uh, that might work over here. I do believe that will work. Yes, that will be fine. 
So I'm just going to cut that. And sorry, I'm just making sure I don't accidentally cut a piece of the deck that I actually need. That would be bad. Okay. So, obviously everything's going to need to be painted as well. Now, I do have a screw hole right there, which I'm going to have to, I have to keep that. I need that for... Uh, accessing the, uh, the lower decks once we uh, are ready for sailing mode but okay that basically I can cut that right straight along and be perfectly fine so I'm going to go ahead and cut these out and get them glued down, and uh, I will be right back once we get those glued down. Okay, so I got my decks on. Um, I got my walls all trimmed out here. Now, it does have the uh, side walls that come off of the uh, well deck, so we have our deck light above that door, um, which... I tried to drill it out on the other one, but the brass is very thin, so this should not be noticeable, but I'm going to just cut that, um, but it does line up just perfect, so no major issue there, just wanted to kind of throw that out there in case anybody is doing the exact same thing. These are the little boxes um, that go on the side of the wall, so basically... Um, I, I will show that picture, but they would basically go, I believe it's like right along here, and then three benches come here, or it might be here, it might go here, but yeah, I'll have to, I'll have to double check the picture, it's one of those two locations, and then it has the uh, box top, so I'm pulling that off right now, um, one of the cool little features of these boxes, how they fold, uh, they, they almost make it so you can't mess this up, um, there's a, it's not supposed to be a 90 degree box angle. And as you can see there, there's a curve. Um, and how the brass is actually bent, it makes that curve happen almost automatically. So it's not a perfect 90, which is awesome because it's just a small detail, but uh, you know, it's noticeable. So, it's pretty amazing the worksman, workmanship that has gone into these. Um, just the detail is incredible. It really almost feels like you're looking at uh, honor and glory when you're dealing with this stuff. So, we're going to glue that on. And... After, after I get this stuff glued on, um, then I'm going to go ahead and start painting everything up. Now, I'm also going to put the carpet in for the, uh, for the library. Um, I have that, so we'll go over that. And I'll also put the carpet in for the second, second class staircase. So, staircase is here, library is here. So... We're going to put both types of carpet in, well, not carpet, tile for the, for the, um, what do you call it, the staircase. So this is that other box, and I'll show that real quick. As you're bending it, um, it basically keeps that shape and does not do a perfect 90, which is really pretty ingenious. Because I've bent a lot of brass before I've never had it not not do what I'm trying not to do and this automatically doesn't so sorry I'm just kind of excited about that because I'm perplexed by it it's just awesome engineering all right 
So just a touch of CA where the two meet. And I do have them just slightly overlap. Give that mm, not enough time. Okay, and oh. Well, while I'm waiting for that to dry, I'll cut out the box top of the other one. And then we'll do the uh, roof rafters. I want to do everything that has to be white in one shot so I have it basically ready to go. So. The doors and windows and benches will all be brown. Okay. And there we go. So there's our little box doohickey. Just want to make sure it doesn't stick to that. Okay. Good deal. All right, next up, um, I'm going to pull off our first set of walls, I mean ceilings. Now, one thing I will mention, it has provisions for lighting to go in. I did see Ben from uh, Midwest Model had put fiber optics in his. Um, I don't know if he had it on this one, but it was one of the decks that he did. And I am not probably going to do that. What I think I'm going to actually do is run a couple of uh, LED nanos, but I'm not going to run every single one because I don't want to overwhelm the lighting either. I think too much will get bright especially at scale so what I will probably end up doing is running like three I'm thinking come on come up there okay so that is how your roof comes now, these end up coming off, I do believe. I want to double check this because uh, I have not put these together yet, but I'm 99% sure these come off and then it all folds together. So I'm going to check that out a minute and I'm also going to get the, um, the flooring prepared for, uh, for the library and the uh, stairway. So we'll, we'll put them on quick before uh, before I do the folding on this now another thing that I did a while back um, I printed myself some furniture for what I originally planned to be first class and all that but I ended up getting woody set anyhow so I can actually use these in the second class library because um, it has tables and chairs as shown in the book there and then I have bookshelves that are right here that I'll be able to put into the library so they're gonna work out perfect now so I'm pretty excited about them too my day has gotten more exciting as once I realized I had this so it's just one of those things little things excite me but the detail that it will add is going to be great because uh, all you could see through those windows on the side of the ship was black, black decking, and uh, it would have been visible and it would have drove me nuts. So I'm just glad I don't have to scratch build at all. All right, let me go ahead and uh, go get my flooring and I will be back. Okay, so I got the second class tile on 
um, right here. It's not glued down yet, but uh, that is second class flooring tile. So how this room setup basically goes, I want to look on the ship how far back I actually can see, but you have your staircase here, then you have your library here, and then you have another staircase over in here. And that will also have the red tile. I don't know if I'm actually going to need it or not, so I just have it here in case. Um, the flooring in the in the uh, in the library looks to be kind of a brownish gold. The closest one I can find is actually the first class lounge carpet, so I'm going to end up going with that. Um, I mean. The amount of visibility that you're going to have out of it as it is, is minimal, but uh, it is what it is. So I already have this one basically cut out to make it um, work in that space. So I'm going to cut it just a little bit larger um, so that uh, if I do need to make any adjustments, I can but uh, it should be pretty darn close as is here. So, I know it might not be 100% accurate since I'm using something different, but it is what I, it's what I got, and uh, it's the closest that I could find in the set of carpets, so it is what it is. Um, and these carpets are available at the uh, Trumpeter 1 200th Titanic uh, Facebook page. Uh, they are free, so you can print them out or you can buy them. Um, Gene Davis will ship them to you. Um, there's links that will be, uh, I'll put links in here for this, but uh, they're very, very nice. Um, I, I bought mine because it's a better printer um, than what I have, so he sends it out on a fairly thick paper and uh, they really look good. So there's that. All right, so gluing down, um, I'm gonna use the same glue that I've been using even though it's not wood. It is paper, so I guess paper's made of wood, right? But really I just want something that I know will stick and uh, not come up because this is an area that, well, actually, no, I will be able to access this one, this deck. Hopefully I won't need to very often, but I'm sure there will be routine maintenance and whatnot that needs to happen with the props, motors, all that good stuff. I wanted a a water-based type glue, so this is what we got. Got a little bit more on here than I need, but that's okay because I can put it onto this carpet down here. Your cut also does not have to be 100% exact. Um, remember, there will be walls right out here where it uh, is at and just not that visible as it is. So don't overstress yourself about having some perfect cut job because there really is no point. Um, you just are trying to get the general idea because even this carpet here that I'm putting in right now, you'll be able to see through two windows. Um, and that's looking through a first set of windows beforehand. So not anything to really stress over very much. Okay, now, the one thing I do want to measure is how long this wall is here, because that is the end of the uh, staircase. 
I'm sorry, not the staircase, but the library. I have them drying right now. So we want to go to that length. Roughly. Okay. I am going to put the walls into the styrene wall. Um, they don't come with the kit, but I am going to divide the room. And I was going to do my, um, what do you call it? My, uh, uh, shoot, my ceiling, but, um, I'm not ready for that because I don't have the ceiling up yet. Okay, so we need to cut basically straight across here. Now the other thing I gotta remember is I kinda eyeballed how much deck I put down, so that deck length is really not an indicator of anything aside from the fact that it's there. So I gotta keep that in mind too. I don't want to overcomplicate what I'm doing here. This is literally an area that, unless I feel like pulling the decks off and showing somebody, um, nobody ever will see it. Except me. other thing I thought about was people whether or not to put people in and I may put some out on the deck I don't think I'm gonna bother putting any in the library there's no real sense in that either because again you'll only see them through a very small window library um, from what I saw has a bookcase right here and then a bunch of tables and chairs around looks like probably five sets of tables or no, probably ten sets of tables so I'm gonna put them around after I get them painted up um, so I'm letting my white dry and uh, we'll be right back Okay, so we got the walls up. Uh, there is glass in all of the windows. Um, fair amount of kit bashing also has gone on in this. So the walls basically over here are Woody's. These are mine. And then 3D printed a bookshelf. And I know it didn't have a fireplace, but I went ahead and put one in just because I had one. Um, but when you look through, hopefully you can kind of see that once I get the furniture in there, it's going to get the effect that I want. The only thing really to think about is the fact that it's going to go through two panes of glass. So I don't really know how visible any of this will be, but it's been fun. So there's that. Excuse me. So next up, we're going to get some of the uh, library furniture and uh, get that on. So I'm going to work on painting that and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so here we go with the furniture. And I'm basically just following the, the um, floor plan out of uh, uh, Titanic Ship Magnificent to get it close i mean it's not going to be absolutely perfect but you know i'm not that overly concerned with getting it perfect because again nobody will ever see inside here anyway um but it will be a nice little detail to have 
and oh you get to see it so there's that um the other thing i just started working on is downloading a um a file for the uh dedeck entry um so i'm going to try to get that done as well uh we'll see how that turns out but that obviously uh does not have a deck in it per se so they aren't glued yet so i want one about there um i got a couple that kind of broke but they're making good ones for along the wall because there was some actual two set type deals in here from what I'm seeing. Um, I think I'm going to have to paint more though. I didn't make enough, but that's okay. Well, I made them, but I didn't, I didn't paint them. Okay. Now there is a couple I have a table with a couch or sofa across from it, so I did those. And the print print for these, I mean, they might be a little bit small to accuracy, but uh, again, it's one of those deals where nobody's ever going to see it, so we're just going to kind of deal with it. And I will make sure I put some pictures in from Honor and Glory that kind of show you what I'm going for. Um, they'll probably be right after this segment. The next thing I want to do then, I got to paint some blue couches and chairs for the, uh, for the entryway over here. And this would have actually had a little partition coming out here. And obviously this would have been a staircase. So there, it's not going to be accurate, but it is what it is. Definitely going to need to um, probably add some people. And there is also columns that should go here, four of them. Um, have not 100% decided if I'm going to do that or not yet, just for uh, the sake of uh, doing it. Um, might not be needed, really, because I don't think you'll see it. But... I might do it anyway. Okay, now a couple, uh, a couple single chairs here and there. So I'll put them around. The chairs and tables may be a little bit on the small side from what the scaling is. I might up them for future decks, but most of the future decks I actually have Woody's um, um, photo etch for, so I might not need them that much, but we'll see. Uh, one thing I did notice from the previous video, and I'm not sure if I'm going to go back and correct this or not, <laughs> the the eye beams that I did under the poop deck here are going the wrong direction. They should have gone this way. So I reached out to Neil. He's going to potentially look at making them, but we will see. So 
it's a smaller detail. I don't know if I've seen anybody really try to do that one in the past. I'm sure somebody has, but I just wanted it. Okay, so as you can see, I'm basically just putting furniture down. I'm going to go ahead and pause it, and then we'll come back when I do the, um, the furniture and the uh, staircase foyer. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I got all of my interior done. I got the uh, I got the uh, blue furniture over here in the um, in the staircase as shown. I got all of the interior in there. So pretty well going to say that that's done. Got the outside done over on this side, and this is part of the Woody's um, upgrade here. So we're gonna do this side quick. I already have all my parts pre-cut. Um, I did have to uh, use a piece of kit for the um, uh, compressor here. Not compressor, but uh, ventilation, sorry. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and set our pieces where they go. So we have this little box here, which uh, that goes right on the outside wall put a little bit of glue down on the bottom sections of it and then I will put it on the on the uh, side and back right where it goes up to the wall so that basically just comes right here just like the other side and we go right there. Then I made a piece of styrene and just painted it gray to kind of simulate the concrete that would have been under the, uh, the ventilator here. Some reason that's not going on there. There's nothing blocking it either. It's very weird. Try that again. Okay. And we're gonna put this guy on right here I think these might actually be the first trumpeter pieces I've used now that I'm thinking about it okay. now for the woody stuff um, it's fairly simple So I have railings right here, and then I got benches. So we're going to do the railings first. So you have two small ones. And how I did the last one was just dipping the two rungs into it and then just popping it on in the location. Perfect. Now, there's the other one. Okay, next one goes right under the window here, which now I'm thinking about it, I don't know if you can see. So that goes right there, under the window. Sorry, I'm doing this at kind of an awkward angle. Of 
course, you try to do it for the camera, and you start running into problems. Okay. Crazy, I had no issues till I start trying to do it on camera. Fantastic. I'm going to be hitting it with a dull coat anyhow, so if I have a little bit of glue on the uh, outer edge, it'll get covered with the dull coat. Okay, that was an accelerator. I try to only use that when I really have to, but that thing was getting annoying. But I didn't have any problems with the other couple that I did, so... I'm gathering it might be part of the fact that I have it angled as I do. But, whatever. We'll get through it. Now, I don't know if you can see on the camera, but there was actually holes for where the rungs of these uh, railings go. So, I'm not just arbitrarily picking places. Okay. Alright, now we got our benches. Which, uh, just gonna move that for a second. We got three benches, three large benches, that is, and one small one. And they bend very nice and easy. Legs just go down in a 90. And then I pick up right here. Dip in CA, and you go right under the window first. Then we do our next one. Now, just when you think the video is about over, because we're almost done with this whole process that was kind of impromptu. I decided to do one more little project in this video, and that is um, the D-Deck uh, first class entry. So I have that actually 3D printing right now, the walls to it, and then we're gonna decorate it up with some flooring and some walls and uh, make it look pretty and assemble it onto the ship. The next video, I promise, we'll be getting back to probably detailing out 
the rest of this getting our cranes on it um, getting the little holders that hold the cranes and all the little details that go with that and might do the detailing on the poop deck too because um, I don't want to lose my uh, my docking bridge um, platform not platform but uh, scale decks piece so that's kind of what that looks like oh now I did put a wall extension back here and I'm probably gonna put one more ventilator because there is a ventilator that goes here it's one of the taller upright ones um, this area is seen all the way back to about here so while Woody's walls do a great job to cover most of it it leaves about two or three uh, larger windows still exposed from what I could tell or measure anyway I could be wrong when I get it up to the ship I might be completely wrong so if I am sorry about that Neil but uh, in any case um, I'm not going to bother poking out the doors that would go here and putting the carpet down or the tiles down and all that it just I mean it would never ever there would never ever possibly be a way that it would be seen so there's no sense in doing it um, these you can actually see through so they they do make a compelling reason why to uh, have them because you can see the you can see the furniture in there and all that good stuff so all right um, be back in a minute here and we will probably have our 3d print done okay so we're gonna take a quick little tour of what we're gonna try to achieve so this is the D deck entry notice that there is a bench then you come through we have a pole here that you'll be able to see you won't be able to see the elevators then we have the furniture here and as we come back over here it's essentially the exact same thing um, now I'm going to end up 3d printing a part um, and trying to get it from there as best I can so from here you can see wall straight ahead over here you can see the grand staircase so we're gonna have to come up with a solution for that because I have a bad feeling the doors are not going to print out properly but that is essentially what we're going to try to build over here notice you can see straight through so just crediting where this came from this would be titanic honor and glory which uh you can try out the demo and uh all that good stuff okay so with the second class smoking room essentially done we're going to move on to the d deck reception area so we're going to need this tile and this carpet and we are going to need these two pieces that I 3D printed. Now, um, they didn't turn out perfect, and that's okay, um, because I'm going to be able to make them still work with some resin, and uh, yeah, I'm okay with it. Um, so, i got a piano there. Here's a grand piano. Printed some other stuff, too. Just small miners. Um, a couple flower boxes for in the, uh, I'll probably put them in the, uh, smoking room. Not the smoking room, the library, sorry. Now, the staircase, not the staircase, boy, oh boy, I got all kinds of different rooms in my head. I've just spent a lot of time on Honor and Glory looking at a bunch of different areas. So that's one part of the reception room, and I'll kind of explain it here in a second when we finish getting these off here. They just got out of the uh, UV um, light baking. So these printed extremely thin, um, which generally would be a bad problem, but for what I'm doing, it's not going to be that big of a deal. So, essentially, this would be starboard side, this would be port side, and it will kind of join like that. Now, they did not put the wall on here, um, so we're going to have to put a wall on here, and a wall, basically, that would go here with an archway. Um, they do, however, have the doors that you'll never, ever see, and these would be your gangway doors right here. 
So this flooring in this area will be the tile, the white tile, and then the flooring over here, like in the hallway in between, would be our, um, our red carpet. So essentially the grand staircase would be right here, so that kind of is explaining it a little bit of where the areas are. Um, then I'm also going to likely use the uh, white walls that come on the uh, printout pages, which uh, I got from Jean. Um, I'm pretty sure they might actually be third class uh, dining area, but I'm not positive the wall that I'm going to use, but uh, it's fine. It will work for what I need. This printout, I'm sure, would have been great if I was doing it on a larger scale and trying to model that, but I shrunk it down quite a bit, obviously, uh, to get it to 1 200. And uh, definitely not my best printout that I've ever done, but it will, it will give me the framework that I need. Um, I will end up putting some resin on the bottom here because, as you can see, this is very flimsy. I might even end up doing the side walls. I don't know yet. But the walls themselves, at least I can paint them. Um, I'll replace the door here because that looks like poo poo. And uh, then we'll have a wall over here that we have to build out of sheet styrene. So, that is going to be our mission. So let me go ahead and get this one chopped up. I think I'm going to let it um, cook in the uh, UV light again for a few minutes just to make it a little bit more firm. I don't know if it will get firm just with how thin it is, but anyway, let me uh, get this one going and we'll be back. Okay, so these are going to be fun. Um, so I just measured the ship. I need to be five inches essentially from hull to hull, hull wall, whatever you want to call it. Um, so there I'm set. I cut out this piece of the hallway um, and now I'm set basically at five inches. So you'll never ever be able to see any of this so I, I really don't need to worry about it that much but I still want to make this kind of work. Um, just now for fun at this point. So what we're going to do, um, the doors are just barely off. So I'm not going to leave these doors on here. These doors are going to actually, I'm going to cut them off and they're going to swing over here to give me my archway that I don't currently have. So, um, yeah, and then I'm going to steal the wall treatment for at least the outer parts over here. So let me get the base kind of made for this first. Um, so I have five inches of flooring that is stronger than what I currently have because this is extremely flimsy. I mean, even after I had it baking for a little while um just i printed way too thin but again i'm pig-headed so i'm gonna make this work uh there are two inches so i'm just measuring out my styrene right now um i don't have to make the exact shape of this because it's uh not gonna matter you won't be able to see if I have flooring here where the, um, what do you call it, funnel area would have been. So let me go ahead and cut these quick and uh, I'll be right back. I'll get this mounted down and everything and then I'll come back and kind of show you what I'm doing with the walls. So I'm going to remove these right now, these walls. And I'm going to relocate some of it here and some of it here. So when we come back, you'll see all that, but that way you can know what I'm doing ahead of time and uh, then you'll be able to see what I did. All right, be back. Okay, quick little update. So I built styrene walls around it all. I got the walls painted white inside. Um, so there you kind of go. Now, what 
will happen, the hull obviously will be right here where my two hands are, and there will be two gangway doors that are that size. So those two windows, and actually it'd be four windows because there's two doors next to each other, are all you'll be able to see of this, but they'll be positioned about here. So I don't know how much this will get the effect really, but you can obviously see straight through here, which is fine because this is going to be carpeted and I'll have some furniture in here and all that good stuff. Oh, I'm sorry, this way. This way will be carpeted right here, and this will be the tile, um, and the carpet will continue out here. Now, when I printed these, they originally had doors that didn't turn out, which at first I was kind of struggling with because down here is going to be where the grand staircase should be. Try to go that way. Yeah, whatever. Um, but then I went back and started looking at my sheets from Jean, and I have these, which are pieces of grand staircase so what my plan is I got one side done already it's gonna be a partition so right in the middle here we're gonna do a little trick of the eye as they would say and I'm going to drop this in the center right of the carpet there so then when you're looking through the door you'll see grand staircase and that is going to work like really really well and I think it's going to be a pretty darn cool effect so stay tuned and I'll show you how this goes be right back okay so there we go with the tile in um, that's looking good so I'll show real quick how I did this um, I mean it's not overly difficult to figure out but might as well just uh, in case somebody's trying to replicate so cut that off because what I tried to do was cut anywhere that had the tile on it because I want the carpet to kind of uh, just take that that ambience or whatever you'd say so you can't really tell that this is supposed to be for a different deck Okay, so that guy's gonna go right like that, and then I cut right there. Okay, so we got our first part ready, and I'm just gonna glue that on with a little bit of glue. And if you want these um, printouts, they are available on the Facebook page, the um, Trumpeter 1200, the uh, Titanic Trumpeter, yeah, 1200 Titanic page. So go ahead and get them. They are free, um, or you can purchase. Uh, and when you purchase, they come on nicer paper, and they are, uh, they are um, a little bit thicker and uh, higher resolution printing than what your standard printer has so then I took this which is the top and made it up to there until I messed that up just like that and then once it sets I'm just gonna take a piece from the bottom here and put it on there and that's just because it has the exact same tone to it as uh, what was there. Okay. And now we just need that little tiny piece up there. Oh, and if you are interested, I'll have to show you the glass after I'm done drinking, but this is my new White Star line, line of glasses. I offer wine glasses, brandy glasses, and champagne glasses, so check out my Facebook page. I'll leave a link for that if you're interested. Okay, 
way. There we go. All right, so now, like I said, that will end up riding right in there once I get the uh, once I get the carpet laid down. Um, and to do my carpet laying and tile laying, what I've been doing is using a simple micrometer. So just measuring out my distance that I need it to be. Actually, I'm using that side. So I need to be there for a distance. So I grab my carpet sheet. And I'm just going to make a mark of where that lands. So that's right there. And then I need it to be this wide. So right there on the width. And I'm actually making it just slightly bigger. Um, just in case I'd rather have to cut down than not have enough. So now I'm going to just trace that out with a straight edge. The good thing is too, these are pretty well gridded, so you can kind of follow where your grid line is also, but uh, doesn't hurt to mark it either. Subconsciously, I think I get a straighter cut with the line, but there. All right, so now simple scissors to cut. And then I'm going to just use the exact same method with the micrometer to figure out this spot here that needs to be cut off. So I'll measure that out and uh, get that taken care of. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this down and then uh, I'll glue down, I'll probably come back to glue down this and then we'll put some furniture in and we'll pretty much be done with this video. So. Let me just finish this up and uh, we'll be right back. Okay, so the carpet's in, but um, this might be just getting a little bit fancy, but I want to anyway. So there is two poles that go in this hallway, one here and we'll call it one here. And then there is a pole in the, um, in the room here. They're thicker on the bottom and then they get thinner. Now, granted they are they are um, square looking at them, but what I'm using, I kind of got my idea from when I did the props, or the rudder, I'm sorry. So I got a little piece of brass rod and then a brass tube, and I'm just going to measure out my 12 millimeter, because that's how high my walls are, and cut it with my flush cutters. Okay. Now, the only thing you got to kind of do is reshape the bottom there a little bit from when it snaps. Then we're going to paint these up white and they have that look basically of having a base and going up to an upper, upper spot there. So minor detail, I mean I don't know if anybody would ever see that, but, you know, we know it's there. So, there's that. Be back shortly. Okay, so we got our post in. Now, if you were looking straight down the hallway, you'd be able to see that there. I'm going to still put a couch over here, and there's a, um, like a, I don't know if it was a ticket booth or something. There's a booth that goes over on this side, so I'm going to put that in. But you can see that over here. Um, oops, sorry. You can see that also over here. So 
basically achieved what I wanted to there. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, glue in our grand staircase. And I'm probably going to see if I can't find some 1-200 people because between this and the uh, second class library, I would like to put some people in there. And I have, I have my KA people, or yeah, KA. Is it K? Yeah, those people. Um, but I don't want to waste them on an area that is so not visible. Um, uh, for uh, for the ship, anyway. It just seems like it would be kind of a waste, in my opinion. So. If I can find them, I will print them and then add them. But in the meantime, we'll at least have we'll at least have what we have. I will say super glue does not seem to like this paper very much. Okay, I think we're pretty much set here, and yes. Okay, so now you can see the effect of the, um, the stairway being there. So basically got what I was looking for out of that. So I'm pretty darn happy. Um, now on this wall on both sides, I may end up putting two doors because I got several left over. Um, between the mini brass set and the KA set, so I got to really measure it out to make sure I get it perfect, but then I'd have the doors basically right in here, um, so basically so it would have interior doors, um, and then I may even try to do the little grating that would have gone over it, but I don't know, that, that'll probably block the view, so that might not be the best of ideas. But let me go ahead and get some furniture painted up, and uh, we're going to pretty much wrap this one up. Okay, so we got furniture in here now, painted the frame. You can kind of, you can see the furniture at different angles, um, which is good. Uh, got my post up in there. Um, I mean, this is all stuff that will never really be seen, but what the heck. The last step that I really want to do... Um, I was saying about these doors getting damaged, so what I'm going to do is take a very thin piece of styrene and um, again, same place I got my carpets uh, from Gene Davis, got the, uh, I got the uh, transparencies that go with them, um, which are for windows and all that kind of stuff, so what I'm going to do is make some doors out of them so the doors that would have gone in here are those typical ones that you would see in like titanic everybody thinks of the movie titanic when you know the doors opening for rose and blah 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 so that's the doors or that's what these doors would have looked like so we're going to make some of them um i only need four but anyway um unfortunately the grid work was just way too small to print out and have it come out decently so is what it is um but this is gonna work oops if i don't drop them all over it'll work okay so let's try that again bottom half is going to end up being painted, so I'm not that concerned with having some glue there. Oh, wait a minute. That's not what I wanted to do. Got that upside down. There we go. That's better. Okay, so I'm going to glue 
those four on. I will say, like, this is probably my favorite video of this build so far, so I love doing this type of work when you're kind of making stuff out of nothing and it's not a kit per se and all that kind of stuff. So, I don't know, for me it's a lot of fun. Other people might hate it, but I kind of enjoy it. Okay. There's always something to be said for just making stuff yourself. I mean, the kits are great, don't get me wrong. Woody's Model Shop and uh, uh, Mini Brass and China 3D and all of them that I've been using. I mean, everything I've gotten is fantastic. So. That's not what I'm saying. I just, I do enjoy making my own stuff sometimes, so it's fun. Okay, so what we're going to do now is cut that out. Uh, I'm hoping, sorry if you couldn't see, I apologize. So, yeah, hopefully you could see what I was just doing. So there's the windows glued on to the bottom of a piece of styrene and I didn't use CA because it tends to fog these not that it'll matter really but whatever so now we're just going to cut that and we're going to take some of our tan paint that is kind of wood colorish Actually, this paint that I've been using has made a pretty convincing oak color, too, so I like it. Uh, oops, wrong brush. Alright, now I'm just going to paint the bottom of the door tan. Got to flip it, which should be fun. Tweezer. I don't want this tweezer. I want that one. Okay, same thing over here. And then the final little part of this, obviously after I let it dry for a couple minutes, um, we'll be cutting them out and then attaching them. So then we'll kind of do a little bit of a look-see at everything all complete. And I do promise after this video we'll go back to our regular, regularly scheduled programming and do kit parts again kit parts and woodies and china 3d and mini brass and i think that's pretty much all of them the frame here i'm only worried about getting on the outer edges
So there might be other people that have done other ways of doing this, but I don't know. I don't know if it's worthwhile or not. I know. I know you'll be able to see it just slightly. And I know Ben did his way over at Midwest Model Shop, which turned out great too. Um, I just think I took it a little bit farther. And whether the results are better or not, that's, you know, all in the eye of the beholder. I think he built a beautiful model, so. I just built it the way I think it would look and used uh, a lot of uh, reference photos and uh, Titanic Honor and Glory, so. There we go. So we're going to let them dry up for a minute and then we're going to get them stuck into their home. Just want to make sure I got everywhere it needs to have paint on it. There we go. All right. So we're going to give them a minute to dry and uh, we'll be back. <laughs> course we'll be back okay so here we are wrapped up we got our stairs there um no no sorry our doors on um so you can see them um i did go back and added some um details on the wall um i used uh some of the trumpeter kit wall or uh windows and just cut the crossbar out and then i added little sconces which were little pieces of brass so they're on there and they just kind of give the wall a little bit more detail. So that is about it. That is going to wrap it up. I got to say this by far has probably been my favorite video that I've done so far. Um, just from a creativity standpoint, it was a good time putting this together. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope, uh, I hope, uh, if you're learning anything from it that you, uh, please subscribe, definitely subscribe. Um, that would be good. So, uh, the content continues, but, uh, thanks again for watching and we will see you next time here at LC model ship building.